Hey, what's going on Capricorns? Butch Tarot here. I'm going to do a read for the rest of January. Uh, it is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. For all you cross-watchers, roles can be reversed. Uh, always feel free to comment down below. Happy birthday to all y'all Capricorns having a birthday. The ones that have and ones that will. Uh, with that being said, let's get it. Universe, what do we have for Capricorns? January All right, Capricorns. So the first thing I see it, it, it is the energy I feel around you. This person is someone that you're already dealing with. Now I feel like with this person, I feel like you're the one that's put in all the work. You're the one that, you know, you're the one that nurtures this connection. But I feel like you feel alone in that. You know, feeling like you're the one doing all the work. You know, I, I feel like this is something that you've invested into. I feel like you feel something with this person and you know, you feel that connection. You know, you see what this person can be, you know, and, and I feel like you putting in all the work and you put it nurturing this connection. I, I, I feel like this kind of, that came, you know, it comes to a point when you're, you get a bit frustrated because I feel like there's a lot of in and out energy with this person. You know, I feel like this person doesn't always show up for you. I feel like, the more you show up for them, it's almost like they show up for you less. The more work you put in, they put in less work. And, and it was kind of like the hope was that you put in work, they put in work, you work together. And, 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 you know, you get that, you get what you want. You know, you work together for what you want. But I feel like this person is very in and out. You know, I, I, there's a, I feel like there's a very defensive energy around this person. They keep you at, at a distance. And I feel like, You know, I, I feel like your intuition is telling you that this is your person, but I feel like there's there's parts of you that's also telling you that you, you're wasting your time. You know, that this person won't show up for you, that this person, you know, maybe not, it doesn't feel the same way. Well, what I see is they do feel the same way. You know, I feel there's a very strong connection. We have the lover's card, the Gemini energy. I feel like there's a very strong connection with this person, but I feel like what what is happening is I feel like this person is allowing you to do the work and the more work you put in, they feel like they can do less work. You know, and I feel like, not to blame you, but I feel like it's because you let them. You know, it, it's it's almost like enabling. You know, it, it could be the little things, you know, if their job was to do dishes and your job was to do laundry and then all of a sudden you're doing both. They're okay with that because they're, they have to do less. And that's what it is. Metaphorically, I mean, it's, it's not necessarily that specific task. I just feel like it's almost like, you know, there's a cockiness to this person as well. Very, you know, very prideful energy. Feeling like they deserve to be treated this way. And, and, that, and that you, you know, the more you do for them, the less they have to do for you. And I feel like it's it, it's been enabled in them. Now, what I do see is I feel like the frustration is building up in you and I feel like it's almost coming to a complete halt of what you do for this person. And I feel like when that happens, you know, when you get to the point where you're like, you know, they need to show up for me. I feel like this person is going to go, you know, is really going to take a look at that because they want to be with you. And I feel like they got a little lazy and I feel like they're going to need some time to reflect. But I feel like with that reflection, I feel like there's going to be a transformation in this person. 
You know, I feel like this person is going to finally realize how good they have it and how little they have to do to keep it. <laughs> you know, they just got to show up for you. They just got to do their share. And I feel like they will. You know, I do see them putting in the work. I do see them, you know, I, I do see them showing up for you. I just feel like you need to, you need to express it. I, I, I feel like you have a hard time expressing what you truly want from this person. You know, I do see that there is moments when you get frustrated and things may come out, but that's not in a productive way. You know, when somebody's not showing up for us, you know, sometimes we get, you know, we it builds up, it builds up. And then one time we just get mad about it. And they just take it as you're being mad. You know, they're not listening to what you're saying because it's coming in that that energy that it's coming out in. It's not productive. And like I said, you will get what you want from this person. They will, you know, what you've been waiting for is coming. Like I said, you have a strong connection with this person. And this person can do the work. I feel like they just got a little lazy. It's, it's like when you're at work, you know, and you start doing somebody else's job and they get lazy. And then, you know, weeks and months and years of that, they stop even doing anything at all because they know you're just going to do it. Like I said, I, I feel like that power couple you were looking for and you expected, I feel like, it, you know, you are going to get it. I do see that foundation being built. You know, I, I do see you getting what you want from this. Like I said, that transformation of them has to happen and it will happen. But it's almost, like I said, it's up to you when it happens. And I do see, like like I said, I do see them. I do see them stepping up and making you that offer that you've been waiting. You know, showing up for you and giving you what you deserve. And realizing that it takes two. You know, and, and like, I, like I said, I didn't really go into much detail here. But we have the three of pentacles. I mean, and when I look at this, it's like the power couple. You know, you know two people working together to make that dream. You know, two people working together to make one thing, you know, and it, it, it's when we can both get on the same page, we get to where we want so much faster. I, I use this reference a lot, but it's like being in a boat with someone and you're you're paddling and paddling, but they ain't doing shit. And then all of a sudden you get pissed off because you've been paddling so damn long. You stop paddling and they realize, OK, well, now I got to paddle. But when only one person is paddling, you're just going around in a damn circle. You both got to be paddling. So you can get to where you want to go. And you get there a hell of a lot faster. Because going in circles isn't getting you there. Like I said, this person will show up for you. They do want to be with you. You know, and, and I feel like what you see in this person, that potential that you've seen in this person, the reason why, you know, you chose this person in the beginning, you know, it will start to shine through. You know, they got to get back on track. And I feel like, when you're with someone, I, you know, a lot of people say, I don't want to be the babysitter. I don't want to take, you know, bullshit like that. But when you're with someone, when you're down, they, they're they there to pick you up. And it's got to work both ways, though. When they're down, you got to be there to pick them up. You can't baby them, though. Because you baby people, then they start acting like a damn baby. You know what I mean? You know, that's the difference, though. You, you can be encouraging, but you don't have to be their parent. You know, and I, like I said, I do see a lot of emotional fulfillment. Uh, we also have that family card, the Nine of Cups, your cups all being filled up. You know, that family card, you know, getting what you want. You will get what you want. But like I said, sometimes you just got to put your foot down and say, listen, this is, this is not going the way I wanted to go. You know, I'm not here to take care of you. And I feel like you might have already had that conversation with the person. You know, you don't mind taking care of the person when they need it. But they can't be all the time. It's just taken away from your growth. It's taken away from your growth as a couple. Like I said, this is a very deep connection. And I, like I said, I feel like you've been waiting for this person to finally step up. And I do see that coming. But I feel like it, you know, I feel like it comes at a price. And the price is you got to put your foot down. And, and some people don't like to do that because, you know, when they care about someone, they want to take care of them. But... Like I said, when you take care of a person too much, there, there, there's over, overdoing it. And when you overdo it, some people kind of slip into a phase where they expect it, you know, and they don't show up for you. You know, you don't need another kid. 
You know what I mean? In, in the sense that the person you're with shouldn't be like your kid. You shouldn't have to be the parent. <laughs> now, with this person, we have Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Uh, we have that Gemini energy as well. Uh, Aries, Leo, some Sagittarius. And we have Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. <laughs> it just reminds me of a story, but I, I won't get into the long part of it. But anyway, my aunt um, was married. Um, and I remember she used to, you know, they used to work well together. Things went well. And then all of a sudden, you know, she started kind of pampering him. And then it got to where the fact that she was just waiting on him hand and foot. And then one day she got pissed off because he didn't do shit. But this is years of her waiting on him hand and foot. You know what I mean? Like, he wanted something to eat. She made it. And then she brung it to him. Then she did the dishes. And, you know, she didn't expect anything from him. And then one day she just got pissed off because she wasn't getting anything from him. Because you weren't expecting anything. You know, when you're with someone, you expect the best of that person and you give them your best. And that's how shit, shit works. And that's how it's successful. I mean, we have our off days. That happens. But every day can't be an off day. <laughs> that's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.